Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have part two of a Dollar Tree haul. Yeah. If you didn't see part one, I would suggest clicking on the link in the iCloud above or in the description box and go back to that video. I do have a Dollar Tree haul uh, giveaway. I'll give you a sneak peek in a second. But for the giveaway, you have to be a subscriber. You have to comment on that specific video, the word gnome. Do not put giveaway because I will have to delete those. I don't want a bunch of weirdos spamming us. So we'll just say the word gnome. I'm gonna do the drawing in a week and it'll be on my Tuesday Dollar Tree haul following this one. And I will announce the winner and it's for a gnome because I found the gnomes and I found a pair and I found some gnome socks. So each person will get a gnome and a pair of socks and I have four sets to give away. And I have my Barry's tea from Ireland still because I'm still sitting in the same spot that I filmed Tuesday's video. Crazy, I know. All right, let's get into it. Again, I'm sorry if the lighting is funny. It is gross out here. It has been raining all day. Hi, Alex. And Alex came to visit us in this video. <laughs> He's my big boy. He's a chunker. Right, Chunky? <laughs> he is, I do get asked questions. He is a chunk. He's a chunk and he's a cuddler. He loves to cuddle on my lap when I'm sitting in my chair or if I'm laying in bed. He just doesn't like me snatching him up off the ground and manhandling him. All right, so this is the Dollar Tree haul and it's my housewares portion. So all of this stuff is mostly home goods, um, things I needed to get that my new year started. And there's a couple things in here from the Target Bullseye's Playground I wanted to show you. So let's get started. I found some more fabric and it's the, um, mm -hmm, like the Volkswagen bus. And it's very spring. I love it. I grabbed two of these. I'm definitely going to be making a project bag for my knitting or cross stitching. And I needed... I didn't need, trust me, I don't have any needs, but I wanted to make one. I love the color scheme and it's very springy. So I grabbed two because I need one for front and back and I'm sure I have lining fabric upstairs somewhere. So there's that. I found the four by four picture frames and they came in black and white. Um, I love a square frame. I actually have one sitting on my mantle that looks almost identical to this to this and I can guarantee you it was not a dollar. It's a Christmas gift, but I love these. I think what I'm gonna do is print off a picture of my cats for my mantle and stick um, one and one and one in the other. I don't know if I'm gonna leave them black and white. I really like the navy blue, but we'll see. These are great if you see them. And I think the smaller frames are definitely more stable. However, if you are nervous, I would just hot glue in here, like put your picture in it and maybe use some Fix-All or some glue, especially with the larger frames. They're a little more flimsy, but these little ones are great. And I think this is very trendy right now, the square, the small squares. So I grabbed one of those. Now I did grab this size as well. And this is a 12 by 12, I think. Um doesn't say but I bought this to frame some of the uh, pictures in the calendar so I won't glue these in but I definitely will um, put I want to put some seasonal pictures in here on a oh, sorry there's my ring light I definitely want to put like the calendar will fit in here and this is just like it's they're calling it a special moments photo frame um wall mount glass pane horizontal or vertical hold seven photos but i'm pretty sure it's a 12 by 12. so i grabbed one of those um yeah i like that i like that a lot i grabbed some of this now if you haven't seen it this is shelf liner there it is called naughty pine K-N-O-T-T-Y, not N-A-U-G-H-T-Y. Come on, guys. Naughty. I'm going to take it apart. It's not too shiny, but look at it. 
I mean, the crafting possibilities are endless with this. And I know from experience, you can cut this on your Cricut. I would just run a test piece. You may have to go a little lighter, like instead of on the vinyl setting, you might want to use like a cardstock. Um, but I just think this is fun. Yeah, I like it. I like I like the texture and the design. And I think for DIYs, we could have a lot of fun with this. I just got one. I want to try it out. But I also love it that it's adhesive on the back, so I don't have to glue anything. There's that, right? Because lazy crafting, right? Oh, and I'm wearing my Buckeye shirt still because the Buckeyes are playing in the Sugar Bowl today. I think it's the Sugar Bowl. Yeah, Sugar Bowl. Um, I, I opened things because I needed them. Epsom salts. I love bathing in Epsom salt. Like, and if I would tell you, if you took a bath in it, what does it tell you to use in here? Yeah, two cups. When you use Epsom salt, you want to use a lot. So this sucker has, um, like I would put this whole bag in my tub. There's 16 ounces in here, which I think is two cups. So I would throw the whole bag in my tub. I did not. I threw one bag. I threw these in a vase, in a vase, and on my mantle. And I'll show you in my, or you may have already seen it if you watched my um, vlog this week. But I just filled the vase with this, and it looks like ice and snow. So I opened that already. The other thing I opened is one of these. Um, this is the one size, two extra large zip top bag. And I will tell you for Christmas storage, this is great. What I used mine for is all the greenery that I had behind me and all the pieces that I cut and I reuse every year. I stored it in one of these bags so I can A, see it if I want any of my greenery, but it keeps it from being smushed in a box and they're pretty good size. And I just lay it on top of all my Christmas storage, but you can do it with anything. I mean, I don't know that I would store ornaments because a lot of mine are glass or breakable, but these are great storage items to have at your house. So I did pick that up and I've already used it. Oh, ooh, I'm coming. I'm coming. I found one of these little buckets. Okay, I found more than one, but I only picked up one. I like the, the barrel feel and the wood and the retro 1980s feel of this. I feel like it needs some twine or something on it. Um, I mean, they're okay. They're not great, but I feel like it would look cute on my front porch this spring with a potted plant in it. So that's what I got it for. Duh, I'm buying something and using it for its intended purpose. Like what? Also, it could be a hat. I'm just saying. I mean, it could be. It probably shouldn't be, but it could be a hat. But I wouldn't if I was you. I mean, clearly I just put it on my head. So there's that. Um, back to the household product. Oh, oh, oh. I found these jars. Now, I only got two. And I will tell you for a specific reason, I was on the hunt for these jars. The plastic lid. I love storing in my fridge. In these. But the metal lid jars tend to rust if you put anything with moisture in it, including coffee. Now, I could store like chocolate chips in here, like my keto stuff. There's a million things you could store in here. But the the lid is the is what's gold. It won't, you know, it's clear plastic. It's not going to rust. Now, I grabbed two because that's sufficient for what I need it for in my fridge. Yeah, but this is perfect. Um, I saw the brown, they're clear glass with the brown lids. And they stack, which are nice. I didn't realize that, and I didn't buy them when I saw them, and now I haven't seen them again, but these are going to be perfect because I'm a single lady. I store a lot of food, and I am trying to get away from um, so much plastic in my storage containers as I just bought something with a plastic lid. But I also don't want rust, so there's that. I don't know if I would store leftovers in here, but you could totally. It's glass. You could put anything you want in it. I'm going to run that through the dishwasher. Um, I was mentioning in my last haul I wanted one more of these because there's one behind me. But I'm going to spray paint this navy blue and probably use it in the spring somewhere. But I love these. I love the texture of them a lot. Um, the gray one has a better opening, just so you know. If you're looking to put stuff in them. So I have a blue, this color blue, a white, and a gray behind me. These two have small openings. The gray is probably twice that. So it's easier to put your buds in it. 
it is a bud vase or vase, however you pronounce it. I'm, I'm a sim, I'm a simple lady, so it's a bud vase. So I grabbed that. Um, this season, instead of the macaroons, they have the heart little jewelry boxes. I got it in one in white because it will match my decor, and I don't have to put it away. I'm just gonna sit it around somewhere, you know, collect dust. But they, it clicks nice. It would be nice. Oh, and that little, um, in my last video, I had a, a Valentine's gift basket idea. Something like this. Put some earrings in it or whatever. It's super cute. So this will probably end up behind me. That's how I roll, guys. I bought one of these. Not to clean my face, but I was thinking I could use it to clean my Cricut mat. But it really is weak. I'm just going to say it. I tried two sets of batteries, neither of which really were very good. So I'm going to say this for me is a wah wah. Now, I have super sensitive skin. I have no need to be scrubbing my skin or face with. Back in the box. I have no need to be scrubbing my face. I, I'm very dry, very dry skin, and it's very sensitive to product. So, oh, this has to go off. So I would not use this on my face. But if you have more sturdy or <laughs> sturdy? you know, skin than I do, then this would be great. I'm just going to see if I can brighten this up a little bit. Um, but it's not going to work for what I purchased it for. That's fine. Everything I buy can't be a winner, right? Speaking of winner, winner, chicken dinner, let me tell you a little story. I watch somebody's um, items to buy at the Dollar Tree and they were talking about this lime away. I've seen it there and I never thought anything about it. I have in this condo super hard water. Like it calcium crystallizes on my faucets. It's very hard. On my kitchen faucet, when I bought the condo, there was like this stuff around it and it almost looked like mold, but it was hard. I had no idea what it was. I have tried tried and tried. I was getting ready to go buy a new faucet. So I'm like, I can't stand looking at this anymore. And I cannot tell you the hundred products I've tried on it. Literally 30 seconds. I laid it on there, let it sit. It turns white and foamy. I scrubbed it with a toothbrush, a soft toothbrush to boot, and it all came off. What the heck? I still am going to buy a new faucet, but if you have hard water or lime stains, this stuff is amazing. So I went around to all my faucets and cleaned them and got all the calcium off because I was getting ready to like literally in 2021 on my goal was to replace all my bathroom faucets. I still am going to do that, but it doesn't feel like such a necessity and a, and a priority right now. I was able to clean them all up and it works great in your toilet too. If you get any like hard water stains, just my little public service announcement that this lime away stuff is amazing. The other thing I love from the Dollar Tree cleaning product is awesome. The awesome cleaner, the yellow stuff. Let me tell you, you probably want to wear a mask because it is, <clears throat> but it gets the grease off of your pans and pots and it cleans off my grill. So I will spray it and wear my little mask because we all got a hundred of them laying around. Throw your mask on and do it because I probably shouldn't breathe in those chemicals, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do to clean your grill, your grill grate. So I grabbed that. Um, I found these scrub it. So what these are, I have them actually from the magic eraser brand, but they were a lot more than a dollar. They're little sheets. So they're little cleaning sheets and it's like a one-time use. I love magic erasers. They're fantastic for all kinds of household cleaning. And these were fabulous when I was painting to get like scuffs and things off the wall before I painted, but I love it for my car. I just love these. And to find them at the Dollar Tree and you get one, two, three, four, five of them for a dollar. It's a one-time use. Although if you only have a little job to do, cut them in half. Like cut it and just use this and then you would still have that. Um, but I was kind of shocked. I'm looking for the Scrub It brand. They have this new sponge coming that they, I've seen a couple people haul. It looks like a flower shape. I need to find that because I have a glass top stove and somebody was showing cleaning their glass top stove with that. I need that in my life. So I'm on the hunt for that. And then I grabbed one of these dog groomers. I, I don't have a dog, but I do have two black cats that shed. And for furniture, you take this and you just rub it over your furniture 
or like the cat tree and it gets your fur in your car if you have dogs in your car which funny fact i went and washed my car the other day and um somebody needs to explain to me how i have a bunch of dog fur in my car i don't have a dog i'm assuming it's from my cousin's house it was probably on my shoes or socks or my clothes because i was playing with their dog i have to assume that's where it came i don't know but anyway um yeah use it on your pets but i'm using it to get fur off my furniture for one dollar thank you yes um cleaning wise because we all decided that i'm using rubber gloves now i got these brillo um i got them in pink and i got them in yellow here's what i love about them a this protects my shirt in this winter season and b the other pair that i got that comes in the bag is a little small i can get them on but um getting them off is a challenge so i wanted ones that are just a little larger in the finger and these are uh one size fits all so if you have a small hand you may not want these because they are more roomy than the ones in the bags that have the different sizes so if i had to guess let's just say i had to give this a size i would say these are extra large in the hand is what i'm guessing so i I just want to be able to slide them on and off. I don't want to have to fight with them to get my hand in, especially if my hand has moisture on it already, um, because half the time I forget to put them on until I've already put my hands in the water, but I'm getting better. It's getting there. It's just, you know, it's a, it's a learning curve. So I grabbed two pair because I, I don't often see these at my Dollar Tree. They go fast. So when I saw them, um, I grabbed two pair. One will be for kitchen and one will be probably for like toilets, bathroom, showers in my cleaning bucket because I don't like to mingle the two. Just saying. I'm all about cleaning my house these days. Speaking of, if you see this and you have stainless steel, this is shiny steel. Karazi is the brand. So this is not a green briar. It's actually from Mexico. Uh, super luster it is for stainless steel so it's gentle so the there is a spongy side and then there's a steel side we should feel it what do you think and I like that it's silver so I will know again in my cleaning bucket oh yeah so there is some abrasion but nothing like the green it's very soft and it's very ergonomic in the hand so there's sponge and then there's the cellulose cellu here's the name for it and then the scratchy side and it's safe for stainless steel so my refrigerator and my dishwasher are both stainless steel and i baby them because what i don't want i say i baby them but today i was making cinnamon rolls to take to my cousins for them to have for the game and i whacked my refrigerator with a big old slab of marble that i used to roll out dough so there's that i mean it is what it is guys it is what it is um i picked up one more set of these maybe in a future giveaway um because this is fantastic this is definitely equivalent to the happy planner with the dog with uh me and my big ideas they line up i checked it against my hole punch i checked it against my current planner it works i love this and then this traveler's notebook set will be in a future giveaway so i grabbed those and if you don't know what this is this is called a traveler's notebook it's almost like a um it's the real ones are leather so this is like a suede and a leather feel to it but it's not and then you have notebooks that you can put in here but they're only held in by elastic now i would recommend sliding the knot to the top so you're not trying to write on it but you can add and take away and i know they sell this size in uh, office stores or online you just have to measure it but you, when you fill one, you can take it out and put a new notebook in there. And I am also 100% sure you can add, if you have any of this elastic, you can add an, a third one in here. There's definitely room for a third notebook in here. So you could just buy two of them and take them apart and make it work because the, the elastic in the center, it's just knotted. So you could take that knot out and do whatever you want 
finagle yourself a bunch of these notebooks and that's your other center or just have two backups and when you fill these and you can use like a bullet journal or an art notebook or drawing or grocery shopping or give it to your kid and let them draw on it but it's fantastic and these are shocking items that I got at the Dollar Tree so I grabbed those I'm gonna try this Bolero shower gel I've never tried it before, uh, body wash, shower gel. It says it helps boost skin's radiance for a refreshed, hydrated feel, gentle on your skin, concentrated, no parabens, no dye. And this is pomegranate yuzu. Yuzu is an Asian fruit. And take the little dealy off there, girlfriend. Mm, it smells really good. So we're going to try it. I'm almost ready to switch out bottles in my shower. Okay, now I have it on my... Mm, smells good. We'll see what happens. I mean, it's shower gel. I don't feel like... I'm wiping it on my pants now. I don't... I mean, I don't... I'm more apt to try shower gel than I am shampoo, if that makes sense. I don't want to damage my hair, but... If, my, if it doesn't feel good on my skin, it's a dollar and I just won't use it again. So there's that. I received in a package the cat cards. And so I bought for my niece the dog set. And they are adorable. And these are good quality cards too. I've already played with them. So I grabbed that. Um, I found, if you saw my haul or something a while ago, I got some Velcro. Um, this is fastener strip in white i have some green to put christmas away it's just velcro so it's the loop loop on one side and the fabric on the other and you can use it to wrap up like cords and your um phone chargers and all kinds of things put it around your makeup if you're traveling or storing things so i grabbed one to see how this works loop loop and eye tape is what it's called but there's the loops on one and the eye on the other and it's velcro so i grabbed that um, shocker to find a bag of wisps. Now I will tell you, I tried one. This is best by August. Um, I buy these all the time and really this is not a bad deal. It looks like it's a dollar for a uh, 6.63 of an ounce, but a bag, probably two or three of these is $5. So it's not a bad deal. And it's great for travel because they do tend to get stale. So the littler bags, um, this is great to keep on my purse or on the go because it's zero carbohydrates. And to find keto food at the Dollar Tree is amazing, and I love these wisps. So I grab that. Now, typically, I buy a big bag at Costco, but it's okay. All right, one more Dollar Tree thing, and then I'll show you what I got at Target real quick. I grabbed this sign, um, not for this sign, for the shape of this sign. I mean, it's cute and all, but I'm probably gonna flip it around. I wanna spray paint it a color. I'm gonna put a welcome, and then I'm going to attach a wreath to it, and it's gonna say welcome. And there's a DIY that I'm gonna do. And I got these wreaths, no, definitely this one. I bought these wreaths at um, Target. These are $3, this is boxwood. And I think this is eucalyptus. I'm pretty sure this is eucalyptus. Just says wreath. But I grabbed these. They're $3 a piece. But these will get you through all the seasons, you know. So I enjoy these. And I wanted to make a sign for my entry over here for spring. I'm not ready to do it just now. I did find, however, please look at this little tiny pack of tissue. If we've not talked about it, my allergies. I keep tissues in my purse at all times. Um... I'm sorry, that is adorable. It's a dollar, is it worth a dollar? No, but is it cute? Yes, so I grabbed one. And it says focus on the positive. So I grabbed that. I also grabbed this notepad, it's $1. Um, it's a Target shopping list. It says dollar spot, apparel, shoes, home and kitchen, beauty and health, electronics, grocery and other. It is a check. It's a shopping list for Target. I'm sorry, what? And it's magnetic. One dollar. Yeah. And the last thing I picked up was this little pot. I love the fluted top. Come spring. It also has in the bottom a rubber stopper. So it can either have a drain hole or not, depending on what you choose to use it for. I mean, honestly, that would look adorable on your desk full of pens. 
but it's also a planter. I just think that's beautiful. And it was $3. And they had them in this color, a green and a creamy white. So that is everything for my haul number two. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to go back to the other video and enter my giveaway for a gnome and a pair of socks. All right, guys, thank you for watching and you have a good one. I'll talk with you later. Bye.